All right. So, finally, let me talk about the relationship between factored form and standard form. So, uh, I'll call this, I don't know, 3B. Factored form to standard form. Um, and I'm going to use this example again. Um, so, what I can do is I can start out right here and take f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. Uh, and if I kind of multiply, you know, foil, first, outer, inner, all of that, um, I'm going to get um, f of x is equal to, what is it, 2x squared plus um, 1x minus 6x, minus 3, uh, combine the inner terms, so 2x squared, and these are my inner terms, that's negative 5x minus 3, right? Um, and here's what we get, is from here, um, we can get the vertex, actually. Um, we get lots of information. This right here is my y-intercept. So the y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. And the vertex is at, um, let's see, the opposite of b. So the opposite of negative 5. Oop, let me write the, the opposite of b over 2a. Let me rewrite that. Uh, all over 2 times 2, which is equal to 5 fourths. Uh, that's the x-coordinate x vertex, okay? Um, oh, so to get the y, this is a little bit messy, uh, but we do have to find um, f of 5 fourths. So you got to take that and put it in. So it's 2 times 5 fourths squared minus 5 times 5 fourths, and this isn't going to be nice, um, but um, it can be done. Um, I'm going to do some mental math here. This is 25 sixteenths. Uh, 2 goes into the 16 um, 2 times, so that's 25 eighths is what that thing actually becomes. Um, so I need a little bit more room. Let me move some things around. Oops, I need this one. Watch this. All right. Do, do, do. Let me move that around. Just so I get a little bit more space. Let me shrink it a little bit. Bam. All right, there we go. Um, so let me go through the uh, math. Uh, so this would be 2 times 25 over 16 minus 25 over 4 minus 3. Uh, so that would be 25 eighths. Because I want to be in eighths, that's going to be 50 eighths. Uh, and that would be 24 eighths um, for what it's worth. And 25 eighths and this right here, 25 eighths and negative 24 eighths is 1 eighth, 1 eighth and negative 50 eighths would give me negative 49 eighths, which is approximately negative 6 about negative 6. So what that would mean is the vertex, um, this is the y of the vertex, y of the vertex, y of the vertex. Uh, that would be the, the vertex then would be at um, kind of putting this and this together. Um, it would be at the coordinate 5 fourths comma negative 49 eighths. Um, and I would be remiss if I didn't put this all together in a graph. So let me put the graph together. Oh, I'll use this spot over here, but you can find a nice clean spot on your, um, your own graph paper. So here we go. Here's all the information together. So what we know is we have zeros at negative one half and three zero. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do 
which zeros at, I'll do them in red, uh, negative one half zero, and somewhere around here at three zero. Um, I'm going to have a y intercept at negative three. So somewhere down here, that's negative three. That's zero comma negative three. Uh, and then the um, x axis, or I'm sorry, the vertex is at five fourths, which is what? One and a fourth. So I'll do that in green. Um, if I come out here about one and a fourth, which is somewhere in here, and I go down to negative six, which is somewhere here, uh, my graph is going to do something like this. So what were the critical points? This is the 5 fourths comma negative 49 eighths. Um, this was the 3 zero, and this point right here was the negative 1 half zero something like that. Um, notice that all worked out nice. And then if you want to verify, throw that onto Desmos, your graphing calculator.